Hi guys, welcome back to the Zowie Invitational Team Fortress TV number two, the European version. We're here in the second map of uh, Best of Three Grand Final, playing out for their choice of Zowie Mouse. I can't quite remember all the names as well as ads can, but it's a fine selection. We're currently at the end of the tournament in the final map. We played one map already, which Made in Germany won. They took it two to one over Mailer Mall their opponents. Uh, we're going to the second map, which will be Snake Water. Admirable, are you excited? Are you ready? Yeah, this is a, an interesting pick right here from Mela Mool, because Kiris, there's some maps he's not a fan of. I'm not saying he's going to play uh, garbage or anything, but you know, like if it was his choice, he doesn't really like Granary, and he doesn't really like Snake Water. And like, even if it's just something you think in your mind that can change how you perform, I'm not sure why made in Germany or uh, Mela Mill picked this one but uh, that is one thing that jumps to my mind at least. Uh, I don't think they just picked it to piss off Kiris, they obviously feel confident about this one but Snake Water hasn't been featured thus far in our tournament so this is nice to see it here and maybe we're going to see Metalworks for the final map, if there is a final map, I'm too much already, <laughs> ah, it's all a... Yeah, um, coming back to the map choice, I think Nox is also a particular big fan, he really likes Snake Water. Uh, Epsilon, his former team, uh, world champions, winners of I-49, they were really strong on it. And I think a lot of that is down to the way Nox calls this, the way he plays this map. Also, it gives him an opportunity to bring out that heavy sniper combo, put Flip on sniper, put himself on heavy, slow the game down, and force Made in Germany to play at the pace that Nox wants. And that could really hinder Made in Germany's aggressive playstyle. Yeah, like... I'm glad we saw Made in Germany getting punished. Like, Ips said before, he said, like, you know, playing aggressive only works if you have good chemistry or good teamwork. And Epsilon, the team that this is the spiritual successor to, had that and were capable of doing that at times. But um, they've just been playing, like, full throttle here. And we've seen some funny moments where, like, they've been playing in that, you know, like I said, textbook bad position and got punished for it. But uh, at least they're sort of determined to continue to try and improve their game and you know they're really using this tournament as an opportunity to become the best team they can I suppose and that's that's why I'm excited about this some people might say oh you know they're playing dumb but they really are trying to find that middle ground where they the can play aggressively all the time style. yeah like yeah. they're trying to perfect TF2 right here before your very <laughs> eyes so that's a, that's a privilege <laughs> for me you guys mightn't care but I like that <laughs> yeah it's gonna be certainly gonna be interesting um Things that I say Melamore maybe to improve upon from last map is like they were, it was really even all around. Like we looked at the logs for statistics from the last match and, you know, uh, Melamore had the best of it. The only thing I would think is Nadir did time die a few more times than Kadus. And even though it was only a few more deaths in overall, the situations he died in were much more crucial and reckless. Nadir not quite in sync with the rest of his team, not quite doing the right thing. I imagine it's quite difficult to play around Nox sometimes because he wants. A lot of the heels to be around him, as we are live for Wedmarble, so take it away. Oh yeah, we're here for the Team Fortress TV Zoe Invitational number two. It's the grand final second map. Made in Germany, your upper bracket winners are a map ahead. This is a match point for them. If they can take this map, they will be victorious. But Mail and Mill are going to throw everything they can onto their map pick as they roll out to middle here on CP Snake War. Nadir trying to walk forward and bully Cadis a little bit, but double soldier bomb from Made in Germany. Finds Mitzi, Medic down right now. Thun also joins him in the spawn queue, and actually the trade is looking good here for Mela Mill, but so many weak players, they seem to be intimidating the Germans, but Ips has an opportunity to clean up. There's a lot of weak guys here. If he can land a few rockets, he can get a lot of frags. Gets another one onto the deer, but finds Flip, who shuts him down with Buckshot to the face. Yeah, Ips is best right now getting two frags, when maybe he didn't have a right to, exploiting that high ground on top of uh, logs and the beam up there. But Mail and Maul are going to take the first middle. Similar starts we had to the last map. Mail and Maul coming out of the traps for faster, quicker, more alert. Very, very DM heavy middle as well. No one really... Everyone just kind of throwing everything they had at each other. Yeah, they were more than happy to trade medics there and see who came out ahead. But I uh, feel like the scouts... Well, obviously the scouts of Mail and Maul were the ones who survived and were able to clean up. Like, scout is a, a very powerful class in Team Fortress 2. One of the most... Uh, diverse and you know well-rounded and especially in those situations where the buffs aren't available players are on low health scout is like so 
adept at avoiding damage and dealing it at the same time. It's just like if your scouts can survive to the end of an engagement, a lot of times you can just take it under the, the threat of those scatter guns. Yeah, uh, here comes a bomb from Captain Hatch, but it's There's so far back. Oh, Nadir gets one. He can't get any more, though. Uh, they do take Ips down, but that's not the pick they wanted. They wanted to pick Fun, but Fun was so far back. I think they must have called it because he, he moved really far back really quickly. Made in Germany aware someone must have spotted the crit. And now Made in Germany want to try and make a push, but with no soldiers, they're just going to have to wait for those respawn. And the longer they wait, the closer Mitzi gets to having another crit screen ready. Yeah, didn't see that crit, but now we'll get it on the second attempt. Big overcharge here for Thun Gears. Just got back on the field. He's going to spawn all the way back at last. But we'll be able to join his team there. Thank you, mobile phone. And uh, it looks like uh, Made in Germany are going to push from the kitchen area here. They're going to go in past that old dresser drawer there and try and work their way into middle for free without using the charge. But Thun takes a little bit of scout behind. Just scout behind. And a soldier coming back as well. Pierre Legressif, aka Captain X, still down there on the med pack. But he's going to get sandwiched by Ips and Gear. And Ips with the black, or Gear with the black box, managing to uh, keep himself on reasonable health there. It does, in fact, regenerate per shot. There's the Here crits comes the crits. Soldier bombs in, will take Mitzi down. They do get two frags, including Fun and the bombing soldier Grit. Grit? More commonly known as Gear when you say his name correctly. As <laughs> Mail and Maul are going to keep going forward. Nadir with a big bomb takes down Cadence. The grit, Nadir's aggression working right there. Now a soldier. A scout's coming in, though. Admiral talks about no scouts clean up earlier, and there's a great example of Sam and Bash cleaning up. As Flip to, comes uh, in. Yeah, Flip's not had enough. He's taken the the two on one situation here. He's managed to win one of them. Oh, but it gets a little help there from Ips. He doesn't respect the sanctity of the scout duel. Ips coming in to steal that frag right there from his scout partner, or scout buddy, Bash. The battle continues though on Metal Gear, and Bash just going forward, forward, forward. Gear jumping in with that black box. He's trying to do his best to kill that scout, but he's missing a rocket there. That's the trade-off you get from the normal rocket launcher. But uh, Aiden Germany have a position on the high ground, but uh, Pierre Legressif is going to challenge that. He's knocked Ips off his perch there. And now, with the positional advantage in favour of Mei Lemul, the Germans would be wise to look for the exit. Ips has gone in, though, to buy some time for his team. Now he falls back out again. And a lot of sort of jiggery-pokery going on here. People trading places, going back and forth. And me and Germany just weren't happy with the way that engagement was unfolding. They backed out and they're going to recompose themselves here. It is Medigun versus Medigun. No crits on field right now, Commander X. No, we're on the ball this time. And we're going to see an uber standoff right now. I imagine the way Mela Moore like to play this, they're probably going to try and poke and peek, put a little bit of spawn and try and find an opening for Captain Hacks, a.k.a. Pierre Le Grossif, to jump in. But can't just see much of anything right now. Steelmate here as uh, teams or players trade damage. A lot of uh, focus soldier fire there. Look at that. That's quite impressive. Uh, these rockets all heading towards the same targets from the Mela Mool side. Captain Hacks and Knox trying to focus down a scout or do any damage that they can push off here. You don't necessarily even have to get a frag, but if you can weaken somebody sufficiently, that might be enough for you to push. But uh, now both teams, despite the score being nil nil, the the sort of I don't know what you want to say, the onus is Here on Here comes Captain the... Hacks, one medic, one medic, Ooh. one rocket, two medics, oh I said it again, two rockets on the medic. <laughs> <laughs> two medics on the rocket. <laughs> Captain Hacks gets the force. Was popped. Yeah, but you Not... was popped. In they come, made in Germany trying to flood through to get a force of their own. Ips is denied though. Uh, here come the scouts though. Cage is going to jump in, the Ubers popped, Cage cancels that jump. As one scout is cleaned up, but it's a trade of scouts, Samzi takes Flip with him to the respawn queue. Uh, Gear's going to be picked off in the kitchen, as it is called, by Nadir, and now Mail and Moore are going to have a chance to push. Is that what Nadir calls it, or does everybody call it? Uh, everybody calls it that, normally, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and uh, again, we saw that situation whenever the team just fell back to middle and used those uh, superior spawns to w sort of win the battle. And Made in Germany found themselves on the receiving end of it this time, but they're making a fight of it here on CP2. As uh, Samzi kills Drozo, Pierre Legressif steps in and kills him and Ips. Big roam plays there from Captain Hags. Who would have thought it, Commander he's, X? I think he's got... Oh, no. He lands a nice little air rocket before he dies on gear. Oh! Uh, Nox comes in Nox. and drops foot. And Nox is going to clean up that as well. The spawns are coming in, but we're all coming through the same door. But it doesn't matter because there's so much damage on those capping players. Kadesh, Bash, and Sam take all the frags. 
And wow, it looks so good for that split second before no spawn before that spawn <laughs> wave came in. Yeah, this is a, a really punishing last point sometimes because the, the spawn doors are sort of blind from the cap point, so you can't see necessarily whenever the spawning players are coming and there's a big high uh, no ceiling there so you can just jump around blindly onto the point and crush people and you will see that happen no doubt time and time again on this map but there's a battle happening on CP2, Cadis is way in front ahead of the rest of his team uh, there's also gear here we've managed to get the deer so the Dimmerman situation has been equalised but uh, five players up right now a couple of spawns coming in there for mainly mill they could push here but flip the... sniping from main i think they're just going to wait for flip not going to be caught out by no snake quarter spawns again they're just going to try and get flip and angle to snipe from i can't see where he's holding currently where is he sees the medic head he's on the the right hand side there on what used to be the drop down but he had a couple of clear sights of medic but didn't take the shot or didn't connect the shot and uh, there's Bash coming hunting for frags there, looking out below, gets shut down by Jeroso. And uh, man advantage here, and potential use of the sniper. Gear sniping as well, gear's off class into sniper, trying to counter snipe here against Flip. The Frenchman, he's looking, he sees, he thinks he sees the medic, he sees the beam, he knows the medic's behind the crates, but he can't connect, just turns around on a dime, hits the scout Eva has to be there, and a second, both scouts down, back to back headshots there from Flip, unbelievable. Here's the counter pop in now. They were able to move a lot, but Cadis gets two of a sticky trap on the left. Flip and Droso down. Just like that, the situation's completely reversed. The deer should be able to escape lower. But uh, players at Flip, then Cadis both having great individual moments to save their team a push. Oh, the spawns are coming in now for Mela Mul. We'll be able to uh, throw up some sort of defense here. A lot of spam rockets coming in. There's a uh, gear coming in from the blind side behind that fence, just uh, terrorizing those red players a little bit. But Pierre Legressif sees weak weakness there. He smells blood in the water, and like the shark that he is, straight in there picks up a 2k. Now Scouts, Demoman, and Pocket Soda are all going to follow up with more frags. Ips, last man alive. This will surely be a male and mule cap. Unless Ips can go for the back cap or something, but no, he's just <laughs> penned in below, and he's going to go down. Male and mule again, first round on the map. Here we go, uh, just like last time, Melon will taking the lead as we go to the next middle. Last middle was a complete DM fest. Let's see if there's going to be a more patient, constructed approach where a full team are just going to go full hammer at this. We see that's Nadir coming out of the low ground. Kader's doing the same, trying to exchange sticky. Uh, Nadir's going to land a bit of damage now, trying to get forward onto the point. Uh, firing those pipes up now, trying to spam people back. Here comes the soldier bomb. Ips is leading the charge. Gets one medic onto Mitzi and onto the deer. The follow-up bomb from Gear will finish off Mitzi. Meanwhile, Milo Mool have destroyed the rest of their team. Just Bash left alive for Made in Germany. He's doing his best to fight. There's a lot of weak players. Maybe he can get a few. Nox kills himself? With a rocket? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Made in Germany wiped there. And I was watching the... Uh... Captain Hag's perspective there, that's uh, Pierre Legressif on your streams. If you don't know, now you know, but he just uh, weighed it out perfectly. As soon as he saw the Made in Germany aggression coming across the point, he just sort of jumped in slightly lower than them, straight onto Thune, got that frag then, onto Cadis, and he just seems to be getting his man more often than not. Not just on middles, but in a lot of situations, he has been a very influential player here for May the Mool. And that's uh, that's no dig at you, Commander X. He's just playing well. <laughs> <laughs> I find it hard to disagree as much as I want to, but <laughs> we're gonna see Made in Germany playing a, playing that aggressive style they talked about so much, taking back that CP2 or just off for one, pick. and now they're taking it into middle as well with this one pick. So much aggression. Knox will get bashed onto the medic as well. Fun goes down to 50 hit points, but there's no one to follow up, and they're now gonna find themselves only three play players up and on their own control point. Mela Morgan gonna oh. have to fall back. Oh, Pierre trying to go in there against Cadis, but he had a hope in hell. He's gone down, and man advantage uh, continues here for Made in Germany as they continue to get frags and sort of different spawn times here. It's uh, it's tough for Mela Mule. They never have the full six players up. It's hard to figure out how to hold whenever you're always short-handed. Now, Captain Hags is back on the field. It's going to be six on six. It's going to be Uber versus Uber and you will be expecting some sort of aggression momentarily from Made in Germany. They're just trying to feel out what the defense is like here on the Mela Mool side. Looks like a scout Uber. Scout Uber from the right hand side. One scout's oh. going to be launched to the skybox. Can he be caught? He will be caught. The counter Uber's going to be popped now. 
The scouts are quite deep, but they are the fastest class in the game. They should be able to get out. Uh, lots of work. Here comes the bomb onto the medic right now. Mitzi in a lot of trouble. Mitzi will surf away. Gets out there, but he's not healing his team right now. He's just connected from his team. Here come the heals now. A lot of weak players on Mela Mall, but they will survive and they will get the frags. And now it's just Fun and Bash falling out lower. And surely Mela Mall are going to push off of this. A uh, really solid defense there, particularly from Droso and Flip, like the position they played there. Once the, the scout Uber had sort of feed it for the made in Germany, scouts Samzi and Bash, there's a real opportunity for them to sort of move to the flank and try and do damage there, but Flip and Droso were just on top of them and uh, sort of destroyed that threat and then continued to kill the rest of made in Germany and uh, made them look a little bit foolish right now, though it's a <laughs> slight advantage for made in Germany, but it's not going to be enough to affect what is uh, essentially an uber steelmate here. Both teams will get that invulnerability and decide how to push. It's really up to Mead in Germany though. They control the middle point and they are a round behind. They must be the ones to take the initiative and start moving in. There is still 17 minutes left though on this map, so plenty of time. Take it easy, lads. <laughs> yeah, both teams just having spammed, spotting each other's position, looking for that opening. I guess the eyes would be on gear as the playmaker, the Roma. He's got the gunboats that allow him to jump a lot more without taking as much damage, getting a little bit deeper. But it looks like they're made in Germany option for a more patient approach, just feeling it out. Coming out in that window, Ips wants to take this Uber in now, get a lot of damage on Captain Hacks. Captain Hacks will go down. Uh, Fun's going to eat a rocket and have to pop, though. The counter pop comes straight out pretty quickly from Mitzi. Mitzi wants his team to chase. But there is a soldier on their right hand side. Soldier's trying to distract. There's a scout behind as well. Uh, they might get sandwiched here, man. Kate is super weak. Kate is like 5 HP, just walking forward, putting out stickies, knowing that his team can follow up on this damage, he hopes. But now he's got the life healing right there from Thun, but they beat it out Drosa with the overextend, and that yeah. might have been good enough for them to push off whenever the spawns come in here for Made in Germany. It's 4v4, and of course, holding that middle point means you get a closer and faster spawn. Uh, neither team has Uber right now, but it looks like Made in Germany just going to wait, waiting for Rips to spawn. They're not going to have a whole lot of time before the full Mail Mall defense is back up again. It'll be interesting to see how they approach this. Just looking at... Cadiz is looking at a sticky trap on his left-hand side now. Captain Hacks is spotting out the enemy position. A lot of patience it's, right it's now. It's a bit more subdued here, you know? Yeah. Made in Germany, all this big talk about how they're going to play aggressive. That, that was an opportunity to actually play aggressive and they decided not to. They're going to wait for their charge. Uh, they don't have an advantage here. Both Malik's getting charged at pretty much the same moment. Uh, 100%. They are ready to make people turn blue and red, flashing with invulnerability, but they won't do that until they recognize they uh, have some sort of advantage or at least concoct some sort of crazy push now. Me and Germany going to go into the green area onto these grasslands below and tr just try and bully out a lot of these uh, French players. Joseph finds himself very weak. Pierre jumps in for the force, gets it, but he is down. Man advantage will be in favor of me and Germany as long as they don't lose anybody here. There's the counter Uber coming in pretty much immediately from Mitzi. Thun and Samzi moving on to the point here. They found the deer. They're going to get that demo man and that one frag, that giveaway by Pierre Legressif has sort of snowballed. And it looks like they'll have to capitulate here and back off to last. Yeah, uh, like Nadir was. As I'm fair sure made in Germany, just going to come in and cap the last point here. Both soldiers jumping for the point. Scout's going to spawn. Captain Axe is going to jump away. No real captain on the point. They have a heavy spun up now, but they should be able to clean up these frags. Eventually, yeah, there's the cap time on the point. It is going to jump in. Gets <laughs> gets the pipe off. Tiggy, <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, uh, really, again, just odd choice from Madeira. She chooses to jump into the flank to try and help there. Rather than just, you know, the stickies do do quite a bit of damage from that range. You can just spam them over jumps in. Gets caught out by the two scouts and the Roman soldier. And they just lose a lot of players on the flank and then get crushed. Knocks and Mitzi gets stuck. Surrounded. As we go into the next middle... Demo men changing, exchanging stickies right now. Soldier's going to go into Malin Wall's kitchen right now. Big bomb from Ips there to take down the dip. Here, uh, aggression from both sides now. It's just chaos on the point as frags are exchanged. Mitzi has survived with both his scouts, but Drota will get picked off. Mitzi's in a lot of trouble right now. Sam's playing aggressive. Sam will get the medic. Gear's going to arrive. With the help of Cadiz, we're going to clean everything up. Great middle from Made in Germany. To, well, great close to the middle. It was chaos to begin with. But good teamwork, good focus fire, and good cleanup. Yeah, Snakewater Mid is like one of those, there isn't much room for manoeuvre, and uh, 
I don't know if you know this, but every soldier here is running gunboats, even the pockets there on both sides, they're all running gunboats, and especially on middles, you're just going to see the soldiers jump in, and it's up to the scouts really to try and protect their medics, and the demo man to just keep putting out as much damage as possible, but we just sort of see these mirror image middles where it's both soldiers going in, and both scouts try and shut them down as quickly as possible, and that time, it turned out in favour of Made in Germany. But uh, with most, both medics dying, there isn't much of an advantage unless you spawn with Crits Creek as Thun has done. So we're going to see some big high damage action very soon, Commander X. Yep, he's currently got a 25% advantage and it's only going to get bigger. I think we all need to put our eyes on Jason Allen, aka Kadus. He had a couple of whiffed crits in the previous round, but he's going to call for it this time. And there it is, he fires for Sticky. Nothing. Ooh. Uh... Mail them all over for retreating. They're going to wait for their Uber and then push back out. Uh, they do get <laughs> <laughs> the crit scout kill on the soldier behind right there by Sam. Flip is also stuck behind, actually. Nadir's trying to deny a soldier on the right right now. Scout's going to rush him, though. Nadir's in a lot of trouble on the floor. Bash coming in from the low ground will finish him off. And here's not something that made in Germany aggression they were talking about. Pushing and getting frags. Yeah, that's just like... Uh confidence in their own ability both scouts pushing in from different sides just taking those one-on-ones they're like yeah I'm missy drops you. oh he just needed some pops to save a point made in germany have forced a massive trader and now they're going to jump in again scout's going to get on the point while a soldier fight happens on the far side they're going to stop the soldier getting anywhere and mitzi with the crucial drop he was trying to hold it so they could have it for pushing out but he just ends up dropping it there Maybe uh, something to do with the fact that he's, he's playing from Canada here, folks. Though he is from Belgium originally and used to play from that uh, region. He is now living in Canada. He got up super early this morning to play with these guys, but it can uh, cause a little bit of the delay there when you try and click for that Uber charge with that high latency. But that's just me musing. Onto this middle, though, again, we're going to see Gear step into kitchen and then step out. He's drawn the attention of the Made in Germany or the Mela Mule Scouts, but it looks like. Uh, being in Germany, I finally figured out what's going on in these Mail and Moon medals. They have the antidote here. They have the remedy, man. Yeah, I'd just like to uh, apologize. Uh, our streamer, who his game has just crashed, so we're going to be momentarily without Pitcher while he reloads <laughs> his game. It's, it's literally, it's been perfect all day. Uh, Sod's law dictates that it will go wrong in the final, but me and Admirable will do our best to keep you up to date with the action that's happening. Currently following that middle win, we see Made in Germany uh, capturing CP2 and has currently a 75% uber advantage in favour of Mitzi. Mail and Maul are poising to push out of their lobby area, checking all the hiding spots, walking out right now, taking their time, cautious approach, don't need to rush. They are around and with only 10 minutes 45 remaining, they do need to get that round back. Nox is going to jump in deep as they get the cap time on CP2 started. Nadir's jump the right-hand side. The Uber will be popped. Nadir again getting picked off on the flank. Uh, again, more odd decisions. But Captain Hax gets aggressive and catches for now on grass. He will go down as well. Captain Hax takes Sam as well. More big Roma plays from the... I don't know. I didn't really have an end to that sentence. Anyway, <laughs> Mail and Maul are coming on to middle. Only two players, two weak soldiers for Made in Germany left. Gear and Ips, they're looking for them. They can't see them. I can't see them. I'm just watching middle. Uh, at Ips, I think, behind them. Is he yeah. on their side? He is on their side. He's Here he going to jump in. He's Mitzi in. doesn't quite hit one, so if he's in the air. Oh, air, air shot. Just yes. about air shot from Gear. It was. <laughs> Air and shots the scout. left, right, and center here in this middle. Mm. High skilled soldiers are doing work right now. And the dear last man alive for Mela Mool. He's trying to back out, but finds his frag on to Bash. He's looking to walk forward here and just trade and buy time for his team to spawn. There's Droso and Mitzi coming up right now. He's going to be able to build Uber. He is staying on that minigun, but a big advantage here for Thune if he can survive. And I sort of feel a little bit for Thune, Commander X. He's playing here with no pocket soldier. He's got two roamers in his team, and maybe that's <laughs> part of the reason why he's getting caught out so often, but uh, it can be easy. <laughs> It's never easy being medic, as we see exchanging in the cheese area, or again, another one of those TF2 names that doesn't quite make sense. Uh, as we see Ips pushing behind him right now. Nox and Mitzi are caught out really badly. Ips actually dropped down, so he should be able to get out. He takes Nox with him, but now it's just Mitzi on to last 91% on fun. We're surely going to see a free one here. Mitzi's going for Ubersaws. Bash will clean that one up comfortably. Flip will spawn, but he's a no winner in time. Fun will pop off the victory Uber, and that's free one to Made in Germany here. Uh, they're looking pretty close to winning those mice and winning the tournament. Yeah, nine minutes left on the clock. We're going to use some of our technology here. Bring us the team comms from Made in Germany. Let's see what they're calling out, what they're trying to do on middle. John, please, don't do me now. Yes. He plays right side. 
We're jumping now. Demo talk. Slowly down. Scout right. Scouting right. Okay, they're only standing one solid. Make sure we get a point. Demo 38. Make down. The oh, over here, the hut. Destroy the hut. I'm dead. Scout Dolly turning us. Kitchen, our kitchen. He's 74. Nice. Solid point. Alive. Solid alive. Oh, yes! Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. nice. Good job. That's exactly what we want to see. Scouts alive and med alive, that's all we need. Wow, that was uh, touch and go there. I saw Thun hopping over a rocket there just to <laughs> avoid death, but uh, I think Made in Germany finding their stride right now. They've sort of sussed out Made in the Mill, as I said, just a little bit. Ip seems content. He's the, the caller there you heard at the end saying that was good, that's what we were looking for. And uh, the way TF2 works in these 5 CP maps is that the middle point fight can often dictate who wins the round and right now Made in Germany would have been in an advantage if they hadn't just lost Sam and Gale. They have popped off an uber charge though so they can try and equalise that uh, man advantage or man disadvantage but... Kader stuck though, Nox catches him out, will take him down. They, I think they will get the cap as there's a lot of fighting. Ips trying to get aggressive but he will go down. Surely they can recap but I think the scout wants to go lower. Captain hacks all over Bash right there. Takes him down straight away. Mail them all, they need something right now. They're running out of time, and they need this map to stay in the tournament right now. They're fighting for their lives. Yeah, like, um, generally in TF2, defense is the, the strongest position, but um, whenever you're playing against the clock, you have to go in maybe in situations against the odds, and that's where Mail and Mill find themselves right now, even though they have this uh, <gasps> uber advantage, but Mitzi drops gear, gets the drop on the Mitzi. He dropped it, he did not pop it, and uh, that might have been a, a real blow to the confidence of Mela Mulner, Commander X. It's, it's not like the worst drop trying to hold it against a solo bomb, it's not the worst idea in the world, but in this situation, he's just. He's not just caused his own death, he's murdered their momentum as well. Yeah. Like, they forced off Fun right now, that's the best they could hope for in this situation. But so six essentially, minutes left. Yeah. They needed everything to go their way, and Mitzi dropping is not their way. It's a free Uber for Thun, you know, like Mitzi's just spawned, you know, one to build with, so it's going to be like neck and neck in terms of that Uber differential. Oh, but uh, Nox is going. Moment. They're going in for it. Nox is calling. He's blowing his horn here. They're pushing in. Release the Hounds of War. Drosso and Flip coming in, but Flip finds a pipe from Kira Sams. He shuts down the deer. And I think Made in Germany were really expecting that one there. They were uh, well aware the dry push was. Uh, Potentially on Drosso is sandwiched between blue players, but finds himself behind Cadis. Lands a couple of shots in his back, and no demo man here might just be the respite they need. But it's a big ask to get two rounds against the best team in Europe. I said it in five <laughs> minutes and thirty seconds on Snakewater, which is a, a map I suppose you can buy a lot of time on. Yeah, particularly on last on middle, all the points really has a lot of distance to cover, and they currently have uber disadvantage. They've got a heavy, but. At five minutes, two rounds down, they need to go. There's not a lot of option to not go. Yeah, they and, really uh, know. <laughs> me and in Germany have a real opportunity here to just frustrate them, but they do uh, choose to push rather than sitting back. And the scout right in here and totally oblivious to the fact that Mitzi standing in the corner, even though he's super close to getting Uber, that might have been a viable target, somebody you wanted to kill there. Often you can't ignore the medic, but there, that would have been a good time to look right and just shoot Mitzi, kill him, <laughs> and, uh, you know, <laughs> not allow them to make each other invulnerable. Wow. Who needs peripheral vision when you're off? <laughs> These guys are playing <laughs> FOV 60 or something, man, I don't know. FOV two and a half, as we can see, Flip and Captain Hacks are also on the same FOV as they go down to a sticky trap. <laughs> Uh, again, all these little things, that sticky trap kill, it's just slowing Mailer all down, and that's all Made in Germany need to do. They tried for push, because they thought, why not? They're confident in their pushing ability, but that's all they need. 4 minutes 20 on the clock, Mitzi's going to surf away. Mitzi will survive down to 40 HP, will catch a pipe. Cadus with a home run pipe takes down Mitzi and Nadir. Uh, they're going to crush him out here, and it's looking like... Um, well, actually, there's a bit of pressure on Fun. There's a soldier and a scout left. It's not quite safe yet. Kader's firing the pipes. Bash doing great defensive work. Soldier's going to try and jump as well. Bash has caught that one in his pocket as well. Bash and Kader's all too dominant. Not even waiting for Fun. Kader's is doing the trick jumps to last. He's spinning his mouse around. He hits for pipes. Oh. Takes the deal with a domination kill. Showboating from Kader's as they take 4 1. And surely that is that in this TF2 Zowie. Invite. Invitational. That's the word.
Doesn't look like there's going to be a second best of three at this rate, guys. <laughs> uh, we will uh, keep you hyped, though, for the last three minutes and 30 seconds, but it looks like uh, Made in Germany are in the ascendancy. Kade is playing very aggressive on this middle. He is just going all out, pushes up on the left-hand side with his scouts, trying to do damage onto all those players in the huts. Pierre Aggressive's in on him, but he has not managed to get the frag onto Kade. Knocks and Droso down pretty quickly. Gear responsible for that with a little help from Ips and Bash. And Captain this Hack's still fighting behind. He managed to take Samsy with him there against the odds. The deer tries to go and gets absolutely shut down by Ips. Uh, now just Flip and Mitzi left alive. Flip's building, but he's outnumbered and out. He's stuck out. He's stuck outside now. Flip has to go for a hero play. Ips is trying to find him. He's trying. Flip's trying to bait out the rockets. Ips goes for the air shot. Cadus will connect the stickies to save his teammate. All the domination's coming in right now for Made in Germany. Looks like we want to go lower with the Uber. We're going to see Ips, Kadus. Uh, Bash isn't going to be part of this Uber. He's going to opt to come in from a different angle. Ips has taken it in. Doesn't need to pop. We'll pop now. Jumps in. Decides to fight that soldier. Meanwhile, the counter pop comes out. Uh, Nox trying to get on that right hand house, but he's he's secured the house with an air shot denial on Ips right now. Uh, nice shot by Nox now, and they should be able to hold this last right now. There is a scout on the deer though. Cadus is in as well. Cadus will go down. The scout on the far right is still just annoying the deer, teasing him with those jumps. Unhittable bash right now. Still 34 HP, juking around before Drosa can take him down. And a successful hold for Mela Mool. Yeah, they have managed to save a little bit of face here, but that doesn't uh, really change the prevailing winds, which is two minutes left and a three round the deficit. The deer bomb's in. Boom <laughs> goes down to 50 health as the deer goes with a sticky bomb. Bomb as Mela Mool flood out behind him trying to do all the damage. They managed to focus down gear, but Drota will go down and reply. Nox and the scout getting aggressive. Nox wants to get onto Fun. Fun is really weak. Nox will take him down. Nox reloading a rocket for the scout. We'll take Samsy with him as well. Meanwhile, Ips has killed Nox's own medic. Now Nox finishes off Ips. Nox with a lot of cleanup frags. Bash on Sniper on 1 HP. Gonna go for the block. He's hiding in the bush. Nox is spamming rockets. Nox will take him down. <laughs> Uh, Captain Hax is hiding, trying to catch anyone else out. He comes aggressive, and it looks There's like Mailer Mool. Oh, Where's gear he puts a rock. He's hiding on the barrel there. Puts a rocket into Nadir, and uh, sort of isolates Captain Hax there. He's going to be cleaned up by Samzy, who gets the the crit potential there from the escape plan. Now Kadis is trying to jump forward, but doesn't commit quite as far as Nadir. Just a little bit of a a full jump. Now he's walking forward, put out sticky after sticky, but there's a scout behind. It's Flip trying to get pistol down there, trying to not to get pistol down, I suppose, by Samzy. Bash comes in and steals that one still. Uh, made in Germany, 40 seconds away from claiming oh. victory here, and those beautiful Zoe products. Captain Hacks denies Bash coming in with the air shot right now, and Fun's nearly out for you, but they want to come in already. Gear leading the charge on that right hand side, his team's shortly behind him. Fun's going to pop for you, but Gear's probably too deep to save. Actually, now he's going to get met up with. Nadir's caught in right now, Gear, uh, Nadir will get taken down, just Flip and Droto left alive, Droto's running for the pop, he can't find it, he gets meleeed by Gear, what a disgrace. GG's our call, it will be 5-1, to one. I think Made in Germany didn't just want to win, they wanted to show how much they could win by and uh, really stump all over the faces of their opponents after that whole drama about breaks and whatever, they've come out with two decisive maps here, the first one was the uh, Pretty intense, a bit of a nail biter on Gullywash, but Snakewater definitely slipped away from Mela Mool there, despite it being their pick. Yeah, uh, Made in Germany just seemed to control. It was steady for a while, but Made in Germany, once they got going, once they got that round advantage after coming back from the initial round, it always looked like it was going their way. Mela Mool were always fighting the uphill struggle. Well, I dig out the logs, though. I got them. Have you got them? Uh, got them? Shortly behind. I'm shortly behind. Three, two, one, logs. Activate form of <laughs> TF2 logs. Okay, straight to the damage. Pow. And uh, up top there, some guy, Mig Cadis, Demo Man doing a lot of work here. It's pretty close, actually. Top three Ips there uh, competing with the Demo Man, but no uh, excessive damage numbers here. Nothing obscene, Commander X, you know, just solid performances all around on Good State team Porter. performance, yeah. Let me check out the kills and assists. Wow, look at the efficiency of the play there from uh, Made in Germany. Sure, it was a 5-1, you know, but like every if you'd sort it by KA per death, uh, the top five are all Made in Germany gear down there as the rumor. You would expect him to be 
you know, uh, slightly less alive, I suppose, but uh, even Thune stepping up and outplaying Mitzi on that map. 0.8 kill assists per death is really low. Even for a medic, when you only really get assists, it's still really low. Hello. Let's see about the Uber drop statistic. Maybe that'd be an interesting one. Two on that. Although Thun had uh, no, Thun, Thun didn't had have one. one. Uh, beautiful. Oh, we've got a guest here, guys. Who who is that unfamiliar voice? Are you less grumpy? Oh, he's, he's shy. He's shy. Oh, Come on, let's, everybody in the Twitch chat try and uh, coax Epps out of his shell. <laughs> Come on here. Yeah, Felix. it's us. Hello. Congratulations, buddy. Thank you. Is that exactly how you thought it would go? Yes. I thought we would win, win Gully Wash more convincingly, but we struggled to get going. We were... I don't want to say rusty, but this long round definitely affected us. Oh, okay. long pause. You were arrogant, man. You were like standing there, even though they had Uber advantage. You were like, "Yeah, come at me, bro!" And a few times he did come at you and uh, yeah. caught you guys off guard. But it was uh, very entertaining to watch. Didn't play for for one and a half hours really, and the game before were not really a challenge. So that was the first real game, and we just, you know, um, it just threw us off guard. And they played really strong on Goliosh as well, like this. The concept worked there, but once uh, gear got a grasp on their mids and what we need to do on snake water, it was fairly easy. We won, we lost the first couple of mids, if you remember. Yeah. Like, uh, and then yeah. we started to win them. And that is what it takes a bit on snake water. It's one of those maps that can be very fast or very slow, depending on whether you get your dead medic when yours goes down and vice versa. I will. Uh take this opportunity just to promote a few things here before all our, our viewers just like do the ninja vanish but uh, this has been the team for his tv zoe invitational number two this is competitive team for us too this is what we do on a, a weekly basis but we managed <laughs> to bring the best eight teams in europe together here for a pre-season battle uh they were all competing for some zoe hardware maybe we could go to an ad john or uh <laughs> as well but uh, i will tell you that ips and company have secured themselves their choice of a Zoe EC2 or EC1 Evo CL or an EC1 or EC2 Evo Black or a, a FK. Those are all Whoa. Zoe products. Check out ZoeGear.com. But uh, I think the fans would really love to see another Zoe ad for Huhi. Can we make that happen? He's doing it. I've got, I've got the PM. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to play an ad. I'm going to actually watch it as well. <laughs>
already. Different. We're, we're back on air after some really inspirational ads from Zoe. I hadn't actually seen those yet, but man, I uh, set my heart alight. But uh, this is the end of the tournament. The Team Four is TV Zoe Invitational number two. We'll uh, run through the final rankings, I suppose. You can see that on the, the challenge.com forward slash TFTV Zoe 2 if you click the full results button. But uh, we'll start from the bottom, sure. Remember those guys, AO Girl, Sugar Daddy, Hood Pussy Creepers? They finished seventh place, tied with Daughter. Uh, in fifth, tied together the last resort with their mercs. You have to say with their mercs, or else they won't be happy. Tied with Phoenix Esports by Simray.com. Fourth place, Lego. Real surprise of the tournament there. Evil Kate coming up exactly where they were seated in third place maybe next time and uh, Mail and Mool proving themselves to be the worthy adversary of our supreme champions made in Germany winners of all those six Zoe mice incredible tournament A Commander X sorry I was literally just licking the last bit of my cigarette to finish <laughs> rolling it as he swaps me right there <laughs> but yeah I've had a wonderful oh, you, day you didn't, think it was, you didn't think it was any good at all no <laughs> I've had a wonderful time. I've had a great day. A lot of fun to watch. A lot of close games. Exciting plays. Air shots, headshots, the whole shebang. I've had a good time. Yeah. It's, been a, it's been a nice little insight as well, like, um, yeah. for the upcoming season of ETF to well. It's nice to see all the teams in, like, a proper competitive situation, not necessarily PCW thing was like, PCW's doing murder. We, don't, we weren't trying. Oh, we only lost because you guys were tryharding. All that nonsense. Everyone's here. Everyone's playing. Everyone's playing to win. Prizes on the line. You get to see where everyone really stands at this stage going into the start of the season, first week. I look forward to the uh, new re excuses from Daughter uh, now that they aren't just playing PCWs, they've played officials and still lost. Come on, guys, you can live up to the hype. Please be a good team this season. But uh, I will take this moment to uh, thank and promote a few people. Of course, Zoe Gear, sponsors of the tournament, all the staff at Team Forest TV for putting this together. Uh, Ducky and John working in the background there. Huey on the stream. He had Ips in all the time. He's not even staff, but he may as well be. Uh, Commander I'm X. Staff. I think myself as well, you know. Uh, serveme.tf for providing the servers. Ari and all the people who contribute over there. Please check out serveme.tf. It's an amazing site where you can just go and borrow a TF2 server anytime if you want to play lobbies or play your practice games or whatever. Even just see what competitive TF2 is all about. Check it out. Uh, there is also another stream going to happen right now or live right now. There's a, com a Highlander competition on that's being covered by X television so whatever we conclude our broadcast please head on over there at twitch.tv forward slash ex television and uh, you can catch more tf2 action competitive of a different variety it's 9v9 over there uh, another few things i'd just like to get off my chest head over to etrtl.org we've got an upcoming season of more of this action week on week uh, that's going to be played in over seven to nine weeks which you include the playoffs and you can see all these teams in action on the regular and we'll be covering that here on team Fortress tv uh check out the new tf2 pickup.net that's a out in a better version you can try that out and uh, get a feel for competitive team Fortress 2 and uh, also tip of the hats the big two charity event coming up in march or april i wish i knew uh they have a twitter account at with the hats and i think they have a website at uh, tip of the hats.org but has anybody else got anything else they'd like to promote now is the time. Not in particular, just thank you for everyone who watched him. Like, it's some of the biggest numbers we've had in TFT for a long time. It's been Ridiculous. a great showcase of our game. Ridiculous numbers. <laughs> I-49 numbers, like 6k people, 6,300 people on a stream. That's, that's so good. So awesome. Front page of Twitch, yeah. It's really yeah, big it for us. Yeah, it's really good. Shout out to Zoe. I'm, gonna, I'm really looking forward to when Zoe FK. Um, gonna try that out uh, maybe should i do i will do like an unboxing thing yeah that's what i'm gonna do to honor them i guess that helps is a it, bit it'll be on your youtube what's your youtube <laughs> oh it's gonna be on tips from ips i think is my youtube i don't even know anymore i haven't done something <laughs> in a while uh but yeah thank you for everyone involved um thank you i think yeah that's the team comms you can use them more next time but we're gonna continue doing that supporting this idea okay okay guys uh, I want to say as well, let Zoe know how much you appreciate this. You know, you can tweet them at Zoe Gear. Um, follow uh, Team Four at Team Forest TV. Follow at Ips the Twit. This guy, 
follow our admirable player. We'll keep you informed of what's happening in the competitive Team Forest 2 scene. All the gossip and drama. And of course, follow us on Twitch, you know, and uh, head over to teamforest.tv. That is the hub of the, the global competitive Team Forest 2 scene. And at ESL Huey, he, he's calling out. And at Blackout John, all, all these people coming, it's messaging me now for their shout outs. And once again, thanks to Ari for providing all the servers and relays and Zoe Gear. I'm just repeating shout myself out. now, but thanks, thanks, thanks. Thanks, and shout out to TLR. Hope they come back soon with from their injuries. And to shout out to TLR. Nox. Yeah. <laughs> Tyler? No. Well, someone's posted your YouTube in chat. How helpful. Oh, thanks. Thank bro. you, Twitch Tim. Oh, Twitch Tim. That's my ex roommate. That's what I'm telling you. He had okay. the shout outs earlier. Let's uh, wrap it up. You can catch all these VODs as well, not just on our Twitch channel, but we will be cutting them and putting them up on our YouTube channel. That's youtube.com forward slash Team Fortress TV. You can relive the drama and we will get the STV demos, all that stuff, all the logs. We'll make some sort of follow-up post for this so you can uh, relive it uh, anytime you like. But uh, that's all from myself and Commander X and Huey and Ips, I guess. Thank you and good night. Good night. <laughs>